It's Sketchbox time. All right, let's jump into this thing. I am super excited. I didn't get spoilers, but I did see the email stating something that sounded pretty cool. So I don't like spoilers. You know what I mean? I, I like to jump into this box and um, see what I get when I get the box. Uh, this is the art. Um, and this is done by... I'm gonna say this wrong, Liz Boudoin, I think. And there's her uh, socials and it's it's good. I like it, I love the eyes, the way she did that. That, that strokes on the owl's uh, feathers, all of it, it's just gorgeous, it's beautiful. Well done. All right, let's see what we got. Let's close this before we uh, injure ourselves. And let's zoom a little bit in. There we go. Right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to start with. Okay, I'm gonna start with this because I've been sketching with these watercolor pencils by Faber-Castell and I love them. I have been shopping around, honestly, for a new water brush because if I showed you my water brushes that I travel with, they have been loved. Let's just put it like that. So, oh, this is gonna be fun. Let me just take everything else out before I start opening things. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm also excited because we got a Hannah Moule watercolor sketchbook and it's a travel size seems like okay and here's the art um that's right there there's no glare and this is the supplies that we're getting <laughs> that is a watercolor palette let me see what else we got a uh, Copic multi liner. This is a gray kind of color. And it's a size 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Oh, and the sticker. And that's it. Okay, so let's open this up. All right, these look like a set of paints that Lindsay the Frugal uh, Crafter has um, shown on her channel uh, that she kind of likes, especially for like on the go. So I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, try these out. And we have a lot of colors. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right, let's open this up. So let's see a little bit about the book. It says it's 200 GSM uh, A6, 30 sheets, 60 pages. Okay. Natural white color paper featuring a fine grained structure on both front and back side, suitable for all wet painting techniques. Ideal for panoramas, acid free, and high longevity beautiful all right let's open it up oh my gosh oh, oh this is gonna be fun okay all right so we have that we have the art and we have a signature okay Every inch of my bone wants to go plain it with this, but we'll swatch everything first. Okay, so Sketchbox Signature, this custom palette features a wide range of colors and values, allowing you to create the widest range of hues 
um, compact and easy to clean. This palette is perfect for the artists on the go. The retail price is $18. Uh, you got a Faber Castell watercolor pencil in the color, I think it's, yeah, walnut brown. You got the water pen by Faber Castell, the Copi multi Copic multi liner in a warm gray, and then the Hannah Moulet sketchbook. I'm going to swatch them, but I'm going to swatch them on the very last page. Every page is a watercolor page, so I don't see why I could not swatch there. So that's what's going to happen. Um, let's see how many colors we have. Eighteen colors. I'm prep our so. And now I'm going to uh, fill the watercolor brush. Okay, the tip on this brush is a medium, so let's start with, I kind of want to, I guess I don't. I would have liked to have started with the yellows, but I guess not. Alright, so here we do have a mixing palette, and we'll, we'll play with that as well. So first thing we'll do is we'll take the line. And then I'm going to squeeze my pen and drag it down. See what kind of um, color we get up top towards the bottom. Okay. And now with these. <clears throat> With these watercolor brushes, I honestly never really like put them in water to clean them. I just squeeze, give it a little twirl on a paper towel or a rag, and I wait until it's completely clean, and I go into my next one. And this one is Almond. And we're going to just come down with a gradient and see how that looks and here I go again cleaning my paintbrush and now I'm gonna speed it up for you guys okay so the colors in this watercolor palette are lime olive pine blue green indigo pain ochre brown and onyx that's the first row the second row is white lemon honey pyrus Rojo, red, rouge, and iris. And yes, I said red three different uh, in three different languages three different times. I don't know, but it's there's three different reds. It's it's kind of funny, but um, this leads me to believe that this is a student green grade paint set. It's not anything that's gonna have any light fast information or anything like that. And it doesn't not anywhere that I can see it. So uh, there's that. Here I am just mixing the colors to see what kind of mixes I can get with the primaries and it's pretty nice. I like it. And then I just want to show just how much the pencil disappears depending on how light or dark you uh, sketch with it, which is great because if you sketch lightly, you're absolutely going to get rid of the pencil once you put down your water. Uh, while I was removing this tape, I did a rookie mistake of not letting the paper dry uh, before taking the tape off. Let the paper dry. <laughs> Don't be like me. Let the paper dry. I ripped the paper a little bit. I was able to salvage it, but I did rip the paper up a little bit. Here I'm just seeing, because I do plan on taking this to do some plein air, I was just uh, trying to see what kind of greenery I can get with the uh, watercolors that I have. And it was pretty nice. I liked what I came up with. 
But before I go out, I want to make my first page introduction kind of like welcome to the sketchbook kind of thing. I like doing that. And what I did was a illustration of a girl. And also it gives me the opportunity to get a feel of these watercolors before I take it out. You know, I get to see how they work. I'm hoping that the um, experience is similar or if not the same as when I'm using my usual travel paint set. Uh, on the front page, I decided to write give yourself grace because a lot of times when I am frustrated or I'm just down about where I am artistically, I forget, you know, just to give myself grace and to, you know, take a step back and look at the stuff that I've done. And yes, yeah, sometimes it's not amazing, but sometimes it is. And it's just what it is you're going to have. You're good. You're going to have your bad and you just got to give yourself grace. So I decided to put that on the front of the sketchbook. As far as the paint and the paintbrush is concerned, um, they're very nice. I like them. They are not, you know, high grade. Like I said, they are, I'm considering them student grade, you know, something to play around with, nothing too um, amazing. But um, as far as the paintbrush is concerned, you fall into the same thing you fall into with paintbrushes or water brushes like this. Um, the flow is not uh, consistent and you can't control it. So you just have to be aware of that and learn how to use your paintbrush or take another paintbrush with you. But uh, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to my next video. I'm planning on doing a plein air with this set and hopefully you guys um, will like what I do. I want to thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.